Hello cellists! This is your previews video for Bursus. This is the first piece in Suzuki Book 1. And as you can see, we're starting with our bow, but without our cello. Bursus is meant to be very legato. In order to be a legato, we have to have a very flexible arm, wrist, and fingers. And so today I want to work with you a little bit on just getting your hand relaxed. So if you'll hold your bow in your left hand, and then put your bow hold on top, make sure that your thumb's bent in the back, Right? And I just want you to tug. So I'm not doing anything with this hand except for allowing it to be a shock absorber. Take your other hand and tug and you can see how this knuckle, this knuckle, my thumb, all of them are just a little bit flexible. So I want you to tug a few times and see if we can't. This is what we don't want. If we've got this, then you probably don't have flexibility in your digits. I mean, what we, what we want is for this to become a very cushiony shock absorber, okay? So do a little bit of tugging. I also want to see where your strong and weak spots are in the bow. So flip the bow over. So now we have the hair up and we're holding it kind of awkwardly, I understand, but you can hold it this way, it's fine. Put your finger out as though it's the string and I want you to just bow on top of your finger. Bow on top of your finger and see are you really maybe light here in the middle? Or are you strong here and light at the tip? What we want is a consistent pressure through the whole bow stroke. That's what's going to give us that legato sound. Instead of having sort of a soft spot and then a heavy spot and a soft spot again, as you go through this natural bow stroke, um, you should be able to keep a consistent weight. And I actually have a whole series on natural bow stroke, on holding the bow properly. Um, if you're collapsed here, you're probably gonna have a harder time. Um, so go back and review those technique videos, but Bursus demands that we have uh, very flexible fingers and, um, and shock absorbing hand. Other than that, the new idea here is harmonics. And we first start with this harmonic on the D string. So if you were to just touch in the exact middle of your D string, don't push it all the way down. I hope that you can see that. I'm just, just touching it. What we're doing is we're interrupting the fundamental waveform and we're allowing the first, the first standing wave in that harmonic series to act. If you go to my blog um, at learntoplaycello.com, I can go a little bit more into the physics of this. I think it's fascinating. Um, but at the end of this piece, we're going to do these harmonics. And if you touch it anywhere else but here, you won't get the right sound. And if you put any other fingers down, you won't get a harmonic. So make sure only your third finger is touching. Your hand will be sort of in its fourth position spot, but extended. And it happens right here at the end. Um, no lift. We're going to start at the pianissimo at the tip. And here's the last measure. So it's the same thing we just did here three times, only on the G string. You have harmonics on all of your strings. That's your previews video for Bursus.